हेलो आर्किटेक्ट जी अरे राम राम साहब जी कैसे है मेरे को ना एक बंगला बनवाना है ना बिल्कुल बना देना पर थोड़ा जल्दी बनाना है कब तक बना दो भाई टाइम तो लगेगा कोई खाली तो बैठा ना हमारे पास दस बारह प्रोजेक्ट पड़ा घर फिर भी कब तक भाई दस पंद्रह दिन तो रुको थोड़ा चलो करके लाओ वन इटर्निटी लेटर तो साहब जी यो है थारो नक्शो देखो बस इतना सा बस जी हेलो आर्किटेक्ट जी हेलो सर मेरे को ना एक बंगला बनवाना है बन जाएगा कितना टाइम लगेगा एक मिनट दीजिए ना बन रहा अभी रुकिए हाँ तो आर्किटेक्चर इज एन एवर इवॉल्विंग फील्ड विच हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस थ्रू द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एज टेक्नोलॉजी चेंजेस द वर्क फ्लो ऑफ एन आर्किटेक्ट ऑलवेज चेंजेस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ न्यू इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस दैट कैन ऑल्सो हैव पोटेंशियल टू रिप्लेस आर्किटेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक टूडे एज वी नो आर्किटेक्चर इज अ टाइम कंज्यूमिंग एंड लेबर इंटेंसिव वर्क Uh, and with the help of tools it can be resolved uh, so when uh, there was a stage when software was released like cad and revit uh, the consumption of time was reduced and even the workflow has been improvised and improved a lot so what will be the next step of architects by incorporating artificial intelligence in their workflow we are going to discuss about this and the first use case that we are going to talk about is designing take an example of architect a who use conventional method he takes a lot of time to develop design scheme he won't be able to take a lot of clients at a single uh, at a single time zone uh, he won't be able to work in different kind of project that he haven't approached yet Let's talk about architect B who use artificial intelligence for his practice. He is more time efficient. Then is he can take multiple projects at different time because of the efficiency that he would be having. Uh, he can use artificial intelligence in conceptualization stage for the starting conversation with the client. If we dive back in history, we can see that architect used to hand draft their whole sheets and. a single drawing used to take a, a considerable amount of time but the, with the introduction of cad it can be done in matter of hours and the next decade had seen the revolution of bim in which all aec industry can collab together but now this is the chance that architects can level up by using artificial intelligence in their conceptualization stage with the use of ai architects can develop a lot of conceptual drawings and uh, even conceptual uh, renders for their uh, visualization so now architecture visualization is possible in just 1 minute so if you have any idea you can just visualize your concept in 1 minute by just giving a prompt to either of um, artificial intelligence like mid journey or dali so this is the revolution uh, that has happened but what next is coming what we can see in the future so let's talk about more uh, about artificial intelligence and what are the category of artificial intelligence we can see in future so if i talk about artificial intelligence there are two type of artificial intelligence one is ai artificial narrow intelligence artificial in narrow intelligence can do specific task uh, in such a way that you don't even have to do it manually for example there are apps which can help you in creating models uh, uh, massing models and even uh, resolving your parking so this is possible by using these kind of apps today so this is not going to replace architects uh, but they have a high potential if you are doing a specific task at your work or at your job so that's the criteria you have to be diverse architecture is not just a simple task of uh, one one input to an output but it can have multiple uh, solution so artificial intelligence can help you in getting those solution and uh, they can skip all the specific task that you might have to do to develop that concept so that is the power of artificial intelligence and ani type of artificial intelligence can be very helpful in this situation the second type of ai is general ai or we can call it a strong ai they 
कैन वर्क लाइक अ ह्यूमन एंड हैव द पोटेंशियल ऑफ डूइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ टास्क दैट इज गिवन टू देम इट कैन हेल्प आर्किटेक्ट्स टू डू स्पेसिफिक टास्क इन फ्यूचर एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इज स्टिल अंडर डेवलपमेंट एंड मे बी देर आर पॉसिबिलिटी दैट वी कैन सी द एडवांस वर्जन एंड द अपडेटेड जनरल इन नेक्स्ट फ्यूचर सो लेट्स आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन विल ए आई विल रिप्लेस आर्किटेक्ट्स If I talk about architecture, it's a टू and fro work process in which we have to design with the limitation of real constraint. But if I talk about artificial intelligence, the current technology is not able to respond to the constraint that is present in the real world. Overall, AI will be an advantage for architects, and every architect should utilize it. Otherwise, they will be outdated. Comparing AI with real architects, Danny Lee. a famous youtuber she created a video comparing the workflow in which in conceptualization stages she used mid journey for developing her plans and even for ideating 3d if plans in 3d's and even the video videos is possible by the use of gaudi in that video she competed against ai to develop different stages of design process and uh, by the end she did a poll uh, with her community member uh, in which she asked which one is better and people voted for artificial intelligence that they were liking that kind of presentation more but in conclusion she observed that the output of ai may be visually stunning but the practicality and functionality of these output are not that great these ai are designed to make things look good not practical but with the advancement in technology there is possibility that the functionality aspect can also be resolved but it's not happening till now and even the level of trust and the level of money that is put in construction it have it's not going to ai definitely it's going to be to an architect so the level of trust is missing in the case of artificial intelligence if i talk about real use case of artificial intelligence in architecture stanslis kalau have used generative design to create floor plans which is quite functional in nature and they by just putting the requirements that is needed he can generate plans which is quite functional and can be implemented in real world so that's the future and uh, uh, the technology is still in development but it can produce very impressive outputs in a talk with divin manas bhatia who is a uh, an Indian architect have been using mid journey for developing conceptualization stages in architecture he mentioned that mid journey and ai create a lot of playfulness in his concept and ideation and he think that it's the future and every architect should use it and implement it in their design he also mentioned a very important factor that ai can reduce the thought to execution delay so now the delay won't be happening In conclusion architecture circa 2035 will be having and offering a lot of AI tools that we can use and they are not going to replace architects but if you want to stay with time you have to use these AI and you have to stay updated with these AI thank you for joining us so that's all from group 26